She has never understood exactly how faith precipitates the type of healing Izzy requires. Faith in the face of mountainous evidence to the contrary has always felt like a trick or a trap. If she convinces herself to believe, if she manufactures assurance and puts all of her eggs in Faith's basket, how much worse off will she be if it breaks? Surely her shattered expectations will be harder to manage than the potentially lethal consequences of scepticism. She turns the taps off and watches as her wet hands drip into the sink. She should beg and plead. Find the right words, words that will release the magic of healing and bind Izzy to mortality before it's too late. But all she can think of is please, 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 please. So feeble. She knows it won't work. She needs more, a game-changing word, one she can shout through the hospital ceiling to the deity that is preparing to steal her daughter, a word like Rumpelstiltskin, a word which will overpower and break him.